Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. A uh, couple of Sauvignons in front of me, uh, one from Bordeaux uh, and one all the way from Chile. Uh, I don't think either of them seen any oak. Let's just dig in and see where we get to. First one, Chateau Haut Moulier, Bordeaux Sauvignon 2015. Nothing too much in there apart from that you're supposed to have it with the uh, uh, brochette de Saint-Jacques. We all have scallop kebabs, don't we? Um, and uh, sorry, I'll just uh, burp in the middle of this tasting note. Uh, I'd better set into it just in case we have any more wind situations. It smells almost exotic. There's um, a very ripe grapefruit and um, preserved lemon character here. And uh, there's some, um, yeah, more, ex almost like some of the gin type of, of aromas. There's things like juniper in there and uh, uh, exotic bark. Nothing to do with exotic dogs or anything like that. Uh, but it smells uh, like it's going to have this, yeah, like a really nice zesty bite to it. Nice, rich, smoky, as this um, roses, lime juice character. There's those slightly herbal things that I was talking about, the, those juniper and, and a few other things. Then when you, the, the finish is really quite rich and rounded. Uh, getting into the gooseberry pie uh, character, but always remaining crisp and um, lively, but um, with a little bit of uh, grunt behind it, as the Australians say. I really like that. Let's see whether we really like the second to, uh, second one. Second one, anyway. Uh, Reserva Las Mulas Sauvignon Blanc 2015 uh, from Torres in Chile. And it's their organic one. Uh, so six months older, or maybe five strokes, seven months older uh, than the, uh, the, the Bordeaux one. Let's see uh, what it looks like. There's a slightly smoky note here. Uh, more on the, uh, again, the, the citrus character that uh, picking up in the, in the first one. Uh, more on the pith, really. Grapefruit pith, lime pith. It doesn't smell like it's going to be quite as full-bodied, uh, but um, it just smells like it's going to be decent, honest wine. That's what it is. And it, it's not as loud and shouty as uh, some New World Sauvignons which for some people will be a bad thing, for some people will be a good thing. I think what this is, is one of those wines that will, a lot of people will very happily drink a first, second and maybe even a third glass. There's this dry pithiness that's going through it. The fruit's never too ripe. I mean, it's 13% alcohol. I think the first one was 12.5% alcohol, but it's not forceful. So there's not aggressive ripe fruit flavours. There's this stony character that's going through it all. Um, and it feels like no one's tried to particularly trick it up by um, aromatic yeasts or anything like that. It's a good, honest drink. And um, I like both of them. Uh, I, and um, sometimes Sauvignon is, for me, a little bit, can be a little bit shrieky. What these two have is drinkability uh, rather than just tasteability. Uh, my problem now is I've got two bottles open and there's only two of us here for dinner tonight. Oh dear, horrible problem to have. See you soon.